I need to fix my saying to know how I look in front of the camera. So I hope you don't have problem with that. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, everyone. Today I did a screenish makeup. <laughs> I don't know if it's nice on me, but I just want to look a little bit crazy today. I don't really do heavy makeup today. I just feel like doing crazy makeup today. So, that's it. Okay, today I have a short advice and topic for all my guys in the house and all my loved one. This is a rare, okay? Yeah! <laughs> Okay, today what I'm going to talk about is very short and sweet to all my single lady out there and whosoever that want to travel abroad. Traveling abroad is not an easy thing no more. You have to ask God for grace and you have to ask God for someone to locate your location that will be able to help you up. That's the first step. Two, if you say you want to travel to come abroad, it's good to leave your mother home and see the different part of the world. Then that's the time you realize everything that people were doing for you around your around you, all the little help like your little sister, your cousin, your mother were doing for you if you are a sport child. Or a small baby or you depend on your nanny if you get all of your war you come outside to see the other part of the world and see different culture this is quite different life my dear it's quite different life you know why because you come to see a strange thing a strange culture a strange place a different lifestyle and everything is like different so girl do me a favor to start preparing yourself if you want to come to abroad or you want to leave your country to go another country you have to do yourself a favor to start working on yourself if you are a lesser person start to be an independent person for yourself if you cannot do this this work is so difficult for you Start to learn how to do that for yourself. Because you know why? When you can't, you don't have no one to help you. No more nanny. No more mommy. No more sisters. No more daddy. This is your own self. You're going to face your own shit. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. You're going to face it, girl. You do your dishes. Your clothes. Your house. Your husband. Your children, just imagine when we are in somewhere, we have less work to do about dressing. We just pick up one top and one jeans and just go. But where you are in a winter, that's what you're going to see that what my mother or my nurse or nanny were doing for me, she really tried for me. Because yeah, winter time, you're dressing your child like three different kind of suit. The underwear, the warmer, the trouser, the shirt, the, 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 the sweater. Then before you come, you pull it over her, the hand gloves, the cap. Then you put it in another bag before you will put it in a carrier. Just imagine the dress that. And you have to be working in time. You have to go to school or you're going to work. You have to get brother ready. Yeah, in, in your civil life war and in your civil life home, you almost cook like six different food for you and your husband and your child. You have to make different breakfast for the child in the morning, different kind of food for supper, different kind of food for dinner. The same go with your husband, the same go with your, with your set, and the same go for you too. So you made three different food for yourself, three different food for the baby. It's a lot of work. 
yeah, you clean your bathroom like no one business, <laughs> which is crazy, right? You clean your bathroom that you see your teeth and your face in your bathroom. You even get a special, um, how you call it? A special, a special polish for the floor. You even get a special things to clean the kitchen. Sink. You have to see your face in the sink. You see how crazy it is? Though we have everything in the house is white. Everything in the people's house is white. So if you just put a spot on the wall, everyone will notice that you have to scrub the wall. You have to wipe the wall. You have to clean your oven. You have to clean the microwave. You have to clean your, your, your freezer every two days. You have to clean everything. You have to touch everything. And yeah, you don't even have a day anywhere because why? It will always show. So you go ahead and clean every day. You go ahead and clean every day. It's so crazy, but it's serious. That's how the people system look like. So if you say you want to live abroad, you have to be children. Oh my God. Ask God for screen. And you have if you don't have elevator in your house, you like living on the last floor and you have 125 floor or I mean 105 floor to claim and you have to get a baby on you and you also pregnant. That's a lot of work. <laughs> you will won't kill yourself because it's so, so crazy. It's really, really, really hard work to do. But if you're used to it, it's so easy. But before you get used to it, my dear, it take you almost a year. It's not funny. It take you almost a year. So lady up there, single lady that want to get married and come abroad with their husband or establish of, of her family abroad, you have to tie your weight sack and be prepared for the hard work. No one do anything for you yet. You and your husband do the work. If your husband doing laundry, you're responsible to scrub and clean the, the bathroom. Your husband going to do shopping. You do the cooking. When your husband cooking, you take care of the babies. When your husband taking care of the baby, you take care of the house. When your husband going to work, you go to school or you go to work. You don't sit here. We have we don't have a lot of time to just lose to sit around. No, time is very very important in the Western world. You don't lose time. Everything you do, you do it in time. Even you go and take a bath, you do it in time because you're calculating the time to see how much you're going to leave the bathroom quick to go and pick up something and something. And yet when you say you marry, everything is like marry. It's not like Africa. I do this for myself. Everything you do, your husband have to son. Everything you do, your wife have to son. So no how and see in this country. Everything is straight fire. Hmm? You have to get that girl. Before you come here, start to learn all of that. If you are secrecy, you need to stop that. Everything that you boasting, you need to stop that. If you are so proud, you need to stop that. Because you need people to help you up. When you come around, you need people to help you up. BKT. You have to drop your BKT down. Because yeah, everybody treat everybody at the same way. No different way of treating someone in this country. <laughs> Even our our queen in, in Kenya. You go into the supermarket. If this is your time for you to pass and go cross your cart. You pass by him. You pass by her and go cross your cart. There's no time. There's no cheating. Scrap for our game. They go scrap with everything. No braving. No crocodile. Everything is scrap. Hmm? Get that one right. No boss here. No boss there. Here. Everyone is their own boss. You go on time. You come from their own time. You have your boss. Your boss here go on time. So everyone go on time in this country 
in the western world we respect time time is our first priority in this country we love time if you just miss a one time you pay for it time doesn't waste here we pay for time so if you so pick up your baby for 3 30 and you go pick up your baby five i mean four o'clock you're gonna pay for the the time that the person spent it so god be prepared for all of this and don't see the glitter thing you think it's not high price everything is priceful in this country it's not price like so god do me a favor and start to practice how to do things on your own learn how to do your own shit and don't depend on anyone start to make it things that you know you cannot do for yourself learn how to do it now that you if you want to find yourself in this land or any part of the world you have to learn how to do everything for yourself no one will help you my darling okay this is our simple installation everything thank you god for listening to me you can take it to all my single ladies if you want to get married and you want for your family to be a bro this is the way this is how you have to start preparing yourself okay thank you be a good housewife not a material i'm a house material you have to prove it if you say you are a good housewife you have to prove it if you say you are a good girl you have to prove it so you need to work on yourself and prove yourself okay <laughs> love you all girl bye bye I hope you take the advice and start to work on yourself. Thank you. It's a difficult thing to do, but you have to try. Love you. Have a nice day.